Okay, so we wish to solve an initial value problem of first order. But first, let's sort of review what we had covered in separable ODEs. So we'll recall that a separable ODE is any ODE of first order that may be written as five prime equal to some function in x times some other function in y. Okay, um, and if we're able to do that, then we could always write y prime in Leibniz notation as dy dx equals our function in x times our function in y and then we formally multiply both sides by dx and then here I'll divide by gy so I'll get 1 over g of y dy equals f of x dx in which case I'm able to integrate at that point okay so if we look at an example let's solve the IVP y prime is equal to 4x cubed times e to the minus y subject to y of 2 is equal to 0. So again, the first thing I want to do is write the y prime as dy dx. I noticed on the right hand side that I have a function in x and a function in y. Let's just go ahead and rewrite this 4x cubed e to the minus y. So I bring the dx over by multiplying both sides by dx and multiplying both sides by e to the y should bring the y to the other side. So I'll get e to the y dy equals 4x cubed dx. All right, so clearly everything's separated because I have all y's on the left hand side and all x's on the other. And so I'm ready to integrate. And if I integrate on the left-hand side, the integral of e to the y respect to y, of course, is just e to the y. And here I have 4 times the integral of x to the third, which is x to the fourth over 4. And the 4 over 4 is a cancel, so I get x to the fourth plus some arbitrary constant. And I'll right here, I'll stop and pick up the constant c by applying the Condition y of 2 is equal to 0, so I'll get e to the 0 equals 2 to the 4th plus c. And that gives me 1 equals 16 plus c, or c equals a negative 15. Okay. So if I go and I pull this equation back, I get e to the y equals x to the fourth plus this minus 15 for c. Now if I want to solve this and get uh, an explicit value for y, I'll take the natural log of both sides. I'll take the natural log of the left hand side, I get my function y of x. And if I take the natural log of the right hand side, I get the natural log of x to the fourth minus 15. 